Hello, uh, here I'm working on how to deposit articles in the directory of Open Journal X, uh, Open Access Journals. Uh, DOA uh, collects all the articles. If you have access or the license with the DOAJ, you can upload. So I am doing this tutorial for the Journal of International Student. Any journals that we have in our Star Scholars Network will uh, follow uh, probably the same approach here. So the first thing first is you log in with your username and password. So here we have our contact information and we have a separate login information for all of our journals. So when you go to the dashboard, you have a couple of things here. This is your ISSN number or the number that assigned to you and go to the publisher area. So in the publisher area, you can see the name of the journal. So this is the example for one uh, a tutorial for one journal. So um, my goal here is to upload uh, as uh, you know XML files so that you know anyone uh, whoever visits here in this directory can see the articles all right and here is the area uh, upload article XML so here you need a couple of things to upload those so before doing that let me go to the place where you can bring uh, the files to upload here now um, I am on the home page of Journal of International Student. Uh, if you are an admin uh, the, uh, or the editor, then you can go to your dashboard uh, because you have to download the materials to upload on the directory. The other place to go on your dashboard in Open Journal System is the tools, import and export. So when you click that, import and export, there are two types of file, the crossref that goes for the DOI and then the second one is a DOAJ. This goes for the directory. So here I am going to click the export plugin for the directory. Uh, then you have a two tabs. I am going to bring the metadata for, for the all articles. So I click on articles. So on my dashboard, I have roughly 500 or maybe more. Uh, right now I have 559 articles. So I'm going to download at least 100 um, articles. So what you do is you uh, manually check because I do not find, uh, or there might be, but I didn't see that, you know, in a single click you cannot download. So you have to do at least 100 click if you have 100 articles. So this is what I'm going to do. So I did the check mark for 100 articles and the next thing is, you know, here is a check mark, take it out and now hit export. When you hit export, all articles will be downloaded. So I hit the export, now it will come here in a second. Okay, I downloaded 100 articles, so let, let me go to my dashboard and then in the directory, this is the place I, I click on choose file. So I have 100 articles the here, right here on my tab. So I click this one and hit open. And uh, the next thing is you just hit upload. Once you hit upload, um, it will start uploading the old manuscript. Um, I mean, the, all the information. So on the screen, you will see file uploaded and waiting to be processing. So that's there. And then within a second, you will see the you know information pending or out of 100 articles that I uploaded earlier. Then I see you know 96 of them have successfully uploaded um, as a new, and then four of them were the previous entries, uh, and they are about to uh, get updated. So you will get the pending, and that's all you needed here. So moving forward, what you need is your uh, username and password. And, uh, and how and, and the way of downloading the uh, metadata from your actual journals. Uh, I hope this is helpful. So in the next clip, I will sharing you how to how to upload upload the your uh, information journal metadata um, and getting the DOI number a valid DOI numbers uh, from Crossref. Okay, um, let's take a look. So to deposit your uh, information, the XML file on the Crossref, the first thing log on from your OJED 
uh, or open journals you know platform and then go to tools under the tools import export and then click on crossref xml file remember earlier you had a different directory and this time you are selecting crossref and click on article and this time you will also select all article manually so here i'm quickly selecting 100 articles and then click on download xml xml file so i have selected 50 um let me do 100 and 100 uh, articles have been selected here let me quickly select all of them for this tutorials i'm selecting now okay and then i hit download xml and it goes to your desktop all right and once you have downloaded that in the desktop then the go to your crossref um, and this is the uh, username and password for all of our journals um, probably the best thing is you can download and email me and then i will go ahead and upload or you can take a username and password and you upload for your journal so here i log on with my information the next thing what i do is i click on upload submission when you upload and you select the file name so here is my file name of the xml file this is actually i selected 187 files so i click on open here so when i click open it is right here and the next thing the final step is click upload when you hit upload it says it's success that's all you needed so that now all the numbers that you have for your uh, journal the doi numbers i mean this should be valid so when i click this one let's say for, a, for, a, for an example here is the doi number so when i double click this one or click uh it should come back here uh right now this is just i submitted so it may take uh you know a couple of minutes to get it activated um if a, if it is submitted successfully you will not see an error like this all right so that's an example i hope you found the tutorial helpful thank you for watching